ओके सी दिस प्रॉब्लम Yes, sir. Are you going through? Are you reading? Yes, sir. Yes. इनपुट अज ऑफ पॉजिटिव इनपुट अज ऑफ पॉजिटिव नंबर so minus 1 is used to terminate then this is this has become conditional whenever user input minus 1 ram will terminate but in the meantime if you are inputting number positive number you have to count how many output how many number were less than 1000 and output how many number were greater than 1000 so you have to put conditions so you have to put conditions got the idea Yes, sir. You understand the problem? Yes, sir. I am. Basically, requirement is how put how many number were less than thousand. For that, this purpose, you will put the condition. And I, and output how many number were greater than thousand again. You will put condition here. But this thing, you have to input many positive number. We don't know the range. But remember, this kind of program cannot be made, cannot be made in for using for loop because in for loop you you must have a range. Here range is not given. Is there any range given? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Is there any range given in this program? uh no wait how many number were less than 1000 no range range how many times uh, i don't no no no, no. how many, no, how many okay how many range mean how many time loop will run so there is nothing given okay range means how many time uh loop will run okay so there is no range there is no range in this program okay so there is no range in this program read mean how many time do will run so in that in that scenario for loop could not use for loop got the idea yeah okay now let me know how many variable are there can you tell me just tell me how many variable do you think that can be used
Yes, Sumer. Can you give me idea how many uh, variable are there? Me. Three. Hello. Yeah, yeah. How many? Hello. Yeah, yeah. I'm listening. How many variable are yes, there? Yes, uh, uh, three. Three. Good. Okay. Can you name the where do you find variable will be used? The the output the output which are less than hundred uh, okay thousand and greater than thousand and okay. uh, yeah. for that we can use total less okay and for that we use total greater and one variable require one variable will be number for a loop okay to run the loop okay now we start making this program First, you have to declare variable. Uh, I go to next page. First, we have to declare variable. Okay, like. I make it total one, comma, total two, and number. As integer. What the idea? Yes, sir. Okay. So do you remember uh, the variable which need to be total? We have to initialize by zero. So total one zero comma total two will be zero. They must be initialized by two. Then I have to give command for input. Input number. Do, do you remember the requirement of uh, program? It will take positive number. It will take positive number. But if it gives minus one, program will return. Uh, program will uh, terminate. So it means minus one is the condition. So we have to use while loop, I, as I told you, for loop would not be used. In that scenario, where range is not given, try to use while loop or repeat it. Now I will put the condition. I will use while loop. While number not equal to minus one. This one is used for not equal. Now remember, while loop runs until condition is true. While loop runs until condition is true. What the idea? If I give number, mm, yes. Okay, I if I give number like ten. 10 is positive number or negative number? Positive. positive. Okay. Now control, I, as I given 10 number, control will come here. 10 not equal to minus 1. Is this true or false? Ten, uh, not, true. Yeah, 10 not, e not yeah. equal. Yeah. Because 
while loop run until condition remain true. Okay. Now control will come inside. I have I have to put condition if the first requirement if number greater than thousand then total one equal total one plus one. Now let me know. Do you understand this condition? Uh, yes. Okay. Uh, now let me know. 10 greater than 1000. Is this true or false? 10 greater than 1000? No. No. It means this total will not update. Okay. This total will not update because this condition become false. So then I have to put condition else if. Else if number less than 1000, then total 2 equal to total 2 plus 1. This condition will run or not? Yes, sir. Yeah, yes. Yeah. I got 10 less than 1000. 10 less than. So, this condition true. Total 2 yes, will sir. be updated. Okay. Total 2 will be updated. Okay. Okay. And if I will put can, and if after and if I will write condition uh, another command input number. I have to give again input command inside the loop because I have to exit from the loop. Otherwise, I could not exit. This input will be used once for entering the program. Okay. But for giving more input or to exit from loop, I have to use this input command. Got the idea? Mm, yes. Okay. If I give here minus one, so this program, this condition will be checked here. Here. Minus one not equal to This condition true or false? Which one? Minus one not equal to minus one. Uh, false. 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 So, so true uh, while loop will terminate when condition become false. Okay. If I give input minus one. So here space is not here. But I show you the right. Uh, the clear point. Now see here. This is total one. This is total two. Okay. Here I will give an any number like I give fifteen hundred. Fifteen hundred not equal to minus. Is this true or false? Which one? One. Fifteen hundred. Not. I have given the input fifteen hundred. Okay. Then program start to run. Here. So fifteen hundred not equal to minus this because control will come here. It will check the condition. While number not equal to minus one. So it it is true or false. Is this true or false? True. True, no? So, program will come. Okay, program will come here. If number greater than 1000, 
fifteen hundred greater than thousand. Is this true or false? Fifteen hundred is greater than thousand. True. Okay, true. I'm here writing uh, x and y. So it means I have given fifteen hundred. Now x will be updated. X initial value was zero. Now it will become one. Got the idea? So if this condition is true, this will not run. Okay. Counter will come here. Here I will give another number like uh, 500. So control will go here to exit the loop. Now I have given 500. Okay, so 500 not equal to minus 1. Is this true or false? Uh, true. True. Program control will come inside. Okay. Now control will come inside. 500 greater than 1000. Is this true or false? Uh, which one? That's 500, false. Yeah, 500 greater than 1000. Is this true or false? Uh, false? False. False. It means this condition will not run. This condition means X will not update. The control will come here. Else if. Okay. 500 less than 1000. 500 less than 1000. Is this true or false? Which one? Uh, now control will come here. No? Yeah, true. So, true. So it means Y will update. Okay. Y will. Got the idea? Okay. Now I am giving minus 1. I am giving minus 1. Here. Control will go again to the while loop. So minus 1 not equal to minus 1. Is this true or false? Yes, Umar. Is this true or false? Which one? I have given the input minus 1. <laughs> I have given the input minus 1. Yeah, uh, it's true. It's true. True, no? No, it's false, no? Minus 1 not equal to minus yeah. 1. Yeah. But minus 1 Oh, not no, equal. not equal. Okay, okay. I so got mean, confused. So, yeah. so, it means it is false. Program will add. Okay? It will come here and then it will output X or Y. So, whatever X value of X or Y, it will be uh, shown on screen. So, you want to copy? Yes, sir. Uh, two minutes.
Yes, Umar, have you done? I'll ask. Yes, sir. Okay. One second. Yes, Umar. See this one? Yes, sir. Try to go through.
right i read it okay now let me know how many variable are there Yes, sir. How many variable are there? Uh, three. Three. Okay. Which one? Uh, the temperature above twenty, the below ten, and the lowest. Okay. And what about loop? Is there any loop? variable? Loop. Variable for loop. We need or not? Two hundred loop. What do you mean loop? Two hundred variable time. for loop. Yeah, two hundred times uh, one. Uh, I don't know if there is any variable. No, I am asking. Uh, if there is, if there is, uh, input is more than one time, so there must be a loop, okay? Because it is asking temperature are being collected in an experiment every hour over a two hundred hours. So two hundred times you have to take input, now. Write an algorithm using pseudocode or otherwise yeah. input each temperature output. That means you have to input more than one time. Whenever you input more than one time, there must be a loop. Okay. There must be a loop. So now range is given. So it means loop is running 200 times. Loop, loop will run 200 times. So force variable will be required for loop handling. Okay. Always remember, you need to have a, a variable for to handle the loop. So one variable will be used for that. Okay, got the idea? Okay, can you make this program? Can you try? Yes, Umar, are you doing? Uh, yes, sir, I can try. Okay, just try it. Now, this requirement is same what we have done in last program. So this one has the same content, uh, concept. Yeah, like uh, you can put condition same as what we have done in the previous program for this these two lines. This is new for you. Okay. Yeah, that's hard. But rest, do rest. Can you can you explain the last line? 
basically it says the lowest temperature yeah, okay. that was input. So you have to compare. Uh, you have to compare given in uh, temperature with the lowest. Okay. Now remember, uh, I think last time we have done that. In last class we have did that. Uh, if there is a lowest or shortest, we we put the we give initial value greater than zero, like thousand, ten thousand, okay, one thousand or hundred. So you have to initialize lowest temperature with any value which is greater than zero. Okay, got the idea? Uh, sir, can you help now? Can you start? Okay. Now we have determined there are four variables, okay? There are four variables. One variable for output above 20, I mean total above 20, second variable above 10, and third variable lowest. And fourth variable to handle the loop, okay? Which will run 200 times. The loop range is 200 times. If you remember last time, uh, in the last program, the same thing we have done. Like greater than 1000, less than 1000. Do you remember? That condition? Yeah. So, okay. Fourth, okay. And fifth variable required for input temperature, okay. So if I put, if I give you a hint regarding, can you guide me how to give this condition? Do you remember in last prompt we put the condition if? If temp greater than 20. 
Okay. Yeah. Then I have take taking total two. Total two equal to total two plus. Got the idea? Same thing we can do for yeah, this. Yeah. Okay. Same thing we can do for this one. Now we can put condition. Uh, if time less than ten, then total one equal total two plus. So do you remember? We have done in the last round same thing. Okay. I'm I'm only doing part yeah. okay, part condition. Okay. Okay. Now what about third one? This one. So we have to compare this one also. Like we can say if damp less than lowest, then this, this thing we have done uh, day before yesterday. So lowest will be equal to temp. So, but your uh, lowest value must be initialized by 1000, greater than 0. So, if I input temp, okay, like I give input 100. So, 100 less than 1000. Is this true or false? Hundred less one, than the hundred less than thousand. Yeah. So is this true, no? So it means temp value will be assigned here. So lowest become hundred. Okay, now I'm showing you the complete problem. See here. Uh, variable not declared, but you must declare, okay? Count variable used for uh, while loop, for loop, total one for lowest, total two for greater, and lowest initial value thousand. So remember, whenever lowest to be uh, find out, always give its initial value greater than zero. It can be 100, 1000, 10,000, 1 lakh. So loop will run 200 times, because 200 hour, you have to collect data for 200 hour. So your loop must run till 200. So this is the condition for loop. I will input the value. This is stem. Uh, Count. Count initial value zero. Temp. I have to give total one, total two, and lowest. So total one zero, to total two zero, this is total two, and lowest is thousand. Okay, this is dry run. So count so 0 less than 200. Is this true or false? 0 less than 200. Is this true or false? No. True, no? So control will come here. Input temp. I am giving 100, okay? I am giving 100. Then it will compare this one. So 100 less than 1000. Is this true or false? No. Oh, no, it is basically why they have given 10. Oh, 100. Oh, 10. Oh, okay. Less than is 10. No? So I have given temperature 100 less than 10. Is this true or false?
present ten is false. False, na? So this condition will not. This total will not. Total one will not update. Okay. Control will come here. So hundred greater than twenty. Is this true or false? True. True. The total two will be updated. The total two value will be one. Okay. Zero plus one. Now control will come here. I have given a uh, hundred in the time. So time data time. Hundred less than thousand. Is this true or false? The lowest value is thousand. Yes, over. Hundred less than thousand. Is it true or false? Yes, sir. Are you there? Hello. Yes, sir. Hundred less than thousand. Is this true or false? Hundred less than thousand is for uh what? True. True, na. So temp value will be assigned to lowest. Okay. Now lowest will be hundred. Before running the program, it was thousand. Now it is hundred. Got the idea? Now count will update it. Uh, yeah, 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 okay. Count value will be uh one. Okay. So control will go upside. Now count value is basically uh one. So one less than two hundred. Is this true or false? No. True, na? The control will come here. Here, it will take input from you. So now, I give temperature. Mm, what should I give? Last time hundred. Now I have give one fifty. Okay, control will come here. One fifty less than ten. Is this true or false? False. The control will come here. One fifty greater than twenty. Is this true? Yeah, it's true. Okay. So it means this condition will update it again. It will become two. Now one fifty less than hundred. One fifty less than hundred. Is this true or false? False. false. Okay. So this condition will not update. So it will remain 100. So now count value is 3. Count value is T. Now I give another value. Then we can end the program. Okay. This time I give, now control will go here. Count value, uh, Sorry, count is two. Count is two. Two less than two hundred. Is this true or false? Uh, for uh, two. Okay, so control will come here. So this time I'm giving. Five. Okay. I gave temperature five. So here it will check condition. Five less than ten. Is this true or false? True. Uh true, true. Yes, you are. Total one will update. Okay. So total one will be one. Control will come here. Five 
greater than 20. Is this true or false? Uh, sir, can I write it now? Yeah. No, come here. We have to check this condition also. Uh, yeah. Okay. Five. Uh, five less than 100. Five less than 100. Is this true or false? Yes, sir. Five less than hundred. Is this true or false? Yes, sir. It's true. It's true. So it means time value will be assigned to lowest. So it will become five. Okay. Now you can write. Yeah. Okay, sir. I love this. Uh, I'm ready. Okay, I love. I love this. Are you chocolate? Did you like?